That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. It looks heavy for its size. It looks heavy for its size. I can't imagine this thing smells good when it's open. I can't believe I'm looking up the nose of a giant monkey. It looks like there's some sort of latch in there. Oh, and monkey eyes are smiling and... Uh, uh, no, wait, that's not right. It seems to have failed due to a stress fracture and too much torsional pressure. It's lodged in there too tight. Here lies Jojo Sr., loyal to the end. I'm not gonna desecrate the grave of such a brave monkey. Greetings! Welcome to Monkey Town. I am Jojo Jr., Monkey Prince. Hey, 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 you can talk! As can you. Imagine that. I still can't believe you're a talking monkey. That is why you fail. The question is not why a talking monkey, but rather, why not a talking monkey? Okay, so why not a talking monkey? Precisely. Why not? How did this come to pass, O oh Great One? On a warm, sunny day. Uh, much like this one. Short version, please. I, I was in the clearing next to the giant monkey head, burying my dearly departed father. Your father? You mean... Jojo Sr. Apparently, someone had trained the poor, loyal fool to grab the switch that controlled the gate to the giant monkey head. Why does that sound familiar? But that same stupid someone forgot to train my father to let go of the switch. Oh, no. Eventually, my father starved to death, swinging on a switch, waiting for a simple command that never came. Gee, that's, um... Horrible. Yes. Well, I was just completing the grim task, and I heard a low humming coming from the giant monkey head. Oh, being a curious monkey by nature, I cautiously approached the humming head and reached out my hand towards its massive mouth. As I touched it, a tremendous bolt shot through my body, knocking me unconscious. But when I came to, I discovered that I had an enormous understanding of the world around me. You mean you could talk? Oh, that too. Do any other monkeys talk? Of course they do. Oh. <laughs> you mean, do they talk in your language? No, I am the only one. As interesting as this may be to you, I feel we might be straying from what is important. I want off this crazy island. The want of things is the core of the human experience. That's very profound, but I have no idea what you just said. It's good to want things. I want off this crazy island. Can you help me or not? I don't have a ship, if that's what you are asking. Great. How am I supposed to get back to Melee without a ship? Everyone who leaves Monkey Island finds their own path. I foresee a unique path for you. Of an epic nature. Or perhaps I'm hungry again. Since when are there so many monkeys on Monkey Island? Since the Great Summoning. Great Summoning? What are you talking about? Shut your yap, impatient one, and I shall tell you. The Brotherhood of Primates has a unique bond with the whole world that surrounds us. Could you, uh, cut to the chase? I got an important meeting to get to. No one has any respect for history. A anyway, my monkey brethren have felt a need, a, a calling, to amass here. There is a feeling that something wonderful will happen soon. Something big. Something big? That is all we know. And even that is nothing more than a hunch. But it is the only explanation for this impromptu monkey reunion. But how did they know to come here? How did you know to come here? I didn't. I had no choice. And so it is for my monkey brethren. Ozzy Mandrill and LeChuck brought them all here? No. They came of their own accord. But they don't know why. I was only trying to illustrate their lack of power to fight it. Much like you. Oh, forget it. 
How did all these monkeys get here? Various ways. Each monkey has found their own path. Are any of those paths reversible? I'd sure like to get off this island. Your path is yours to find. Gee, thanks. I have no more insight for you. Perhaps you seek knowledge in other areas. I really should be going. I wish you luck and health on your journey. This monkey appears to have some musical talent, if you can call that music. Herman? Where? Ow! What the heck you trying to... Hey! I'm Herman Toothrot! Herman, you got your memory back! Some of it. I still don't remember you. This is gonna be harder than I thought. How's your memory? I don't know. Ask me something. What do you remember? Well, I remember building this campground and trying to keep the monkeys from stealing my bananas. Then some bozo whacked me with a coconut. <laughs> What's the earliest thing you remember? Hmm, let me think. I remember waking up in the middle of a clearing next to a milk bottle. A milk bottle? Yep. Probably had something to do with all the explosions going on at the amusement park. Explosions? Yep. Some sort of demon zombie ghost pirate blew up the place real good, then sailed off on his ghost ship. All the explosions activated the island's dormant volcano. When did all this happen? A few months ago. So you can only remember the last few months? That's right. I can't remember a thing before I woke up next to that milk bottle. I think I'll plumb the murky depths of your memory later. Whatever! <laughs> How are things on Monkey Island? Things? What things? Where are all the monkeys? I think they spend most of their time on the other side of the lava field, dirty little buggers. What do you think of Jojo Jr., the talking monkey? A talking monkey? <laughs> are you sure you're not the one with the brain damage? A talking monkey. <laughs> what have you been doing with yourself? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, yes I would. Oh, well, when the volcano erupted, it ripped open the island's southern canyon. Guess what I found down there? The real secret to Monkey Island? Gold! Buckets of the stuff! I've been mining ever since! I even had my banana picker dipped in gold. Why does a hermit need gold? Insurance, bucko! The high-flying life of a hermit's fine and dandy now, but I may want to retire someday. <laughs> Let's not talk about monkey- Okie dokie! I need some help. I could tell that just by looking at you. <laughs> Do you have even the slightest idea where you might have left your ship? Nope. You haven't stumbled across any ways to defeat Ozzy and LeChuck, have you? Who are they? I was afraid of that. Do you have even the slightest idea where you might have left your ship? Nope. On second thought, I don't think you'll be too helpful in this state. If you want my help, ask me some questions I can answer. <laughs> See you later, Herman. See you, stranger! 
Herman? Where? Ow! Are you trying to kill me, you ration freshin guy brush? Herman, you remember me? Of course! You're the kid who found my banana picker. You've gotten all your memory back? I think so. Quiz me, hotshot. Do you remember the cannibals? Those jerks! They used to keep stealing my banana picker. Boy, was I happy when they moved away. Do you remember LeChuck's amusement park? Yep. Kind of silly if you ask me. Sticking an amusement park on a nigh unreachable, mystically obscured island. I kind of wondered about that myself. Well, that's LeChuck for you. A nasty piece of work, but not too bright. Do you remember Dinky Island? I wish I could forget. I'm still not sure how I ended up there. LeChuck told me there was a tunnel between Dinky and Monkey Island. Really? Well, don't that beat all. Do you remember the caverns to heck under the giant monkey head? Oh yeah, the caverns of meat. <laughs> Those caves mysteriously sealed up after you left. It's a good thing too. We were losing a lot of monkeys down there. Do you remember anything else? I remember lots of stuff. I especially remember a snot-nosed kid who wouldn't let a hermit have a little peace and quiet. What's the earliest thing you remember? That's a long time ago, Skippy. Try. Hmm. I remember. It's 20 years ago. I'm washing ashore on Monkey Island. My head hurts. There's an accordion next to me on the beach. An accordion? Yep. I tried to play the thing for a few years, but I wasn't any good. So I threw it into a field of weeds. Let's pour over your mental state later. Whatever! <laughs> I need some help. Don't you always? <laughs> Do you remember where you parked your ship? I really, really need to get back to Melee Island. Of course I do. Great! It's at the bottom of the ocean. What? A few months ago, I got to thinking that a hermit with a ship is like a unicycle with training wheels. It just doesn't make much sense. So, in the spirit of genuine hermitity, I sank it. That's just great. Now I'll have to find some other way off this heck hole of a lush tropical island paradise. Do you know how to fight an ultimate insult? That sounds familiar. What is it? It's a voodoo talisman with the power to crush men's souls. Ultimate insult. Ultimate insult. Nope, never heard of it. On second thought, maybe I'll have suits me. See you later, Herman. Oh? Herman? Where? Ow! Ouch! What in the name of hey? I just remembered where I left my pants. That's um great, I guess. Uh, what about Ozzy Mandrel? Ozzy Mandrel? Never heard of him. <gasps> Wait! Now I remember. Oh no! By Triton's panty line, this is horrible! Herman? Oh? Oh yeah, that's me. Herman. <laughs> Listen, Junior, you better take a seat because I got some whale staggering news to lay on you. I didn't know whales could stagger, but go ahead. Okay, first of all, my real name isn't Herman Toothrot. Really? What is it? I'll get to that. First, let me tell you how I ended up here on Monkey Island. With nothing but a busted accordion, most of the clothes on my back, and a head full of broken memories. Is this going to take a while? I'm in kind of a hurry. Stow it, Blondie. This is important. Like so many stories, it began some 20 years ago in a bar on the other side of the world. I had been lured out of my peaceful retirement in the Caribbean by the thrill of a dangerous sailing regatta off the coast of Australia. Australia? Wait a minute. Hush up, kid. I'm telling a story here. Sorry. Anyhow, the night before the competition, I was stealing myself for the race with several pitchers of grog when I was joined at the bar by one of the other competitors, an unhappy Australian tycoon with the unlikely name of Ozzy Mandro. No. Yes. The poor guy seemed so sad just because no one would do business with him anymore. Well, to cheer him up, I regaled him with stories of my adventures on the untamed Caribbean seas. So you were the one who told Ozzy about the lucrative development opportunities of the Caribbean? Yes, but that's not all. The next day, as I reached the race's halfway point, I'd already forgotten the grog-induced revelries of the night before. Suddenly, 
I found myself being rammed by another boat, pushed into a freakish whirlpool. It was none other than Ozzy. I hate it when that happens. It gets worse. Yipes. I hadn't just told Ozzy about the wonders of the Caribbean. I'd also told him about all of its terrible voodoo secrets. Secrets that men would kill to possess. I told him about the gate to heck known as Big Whoop. I told him about the unbelievable lineage of the three-headed monkey. Worst of all, I told him about the ultimate insult, the voodoo talisman that could make mice out of men. Remind me to never tell you a secret. Strangely, the whirlpool didn't kill me. Instead, it dropped me and my shattered ship on the other side of the world. By the time I had righted myself, I had no idea who I was or where I came from. I took the name Herman Toothrot after the remaining letters on my accordion, H.T. H.T.? Wait a minute, you're not telling me that you're really... That's right. My real name is Horatio Torquemada Marley. But you can't be Governor Marley. I mean, everyone knows that H.T. Marley died over 20 years ago, off the coast of Australia, in a boat race. Grandpa! Get your stinking hands off of me, you blamed octopus! But sir, we're family. See? I married your granddaughter, Elaine. Oh, that's just wonderful. I finally rid myself of 20 years of amnesia, and the first thing I learned is that my granddaughter has married the sorriest excuse for a pirate in the Seven Seas. Somebody get me a coconut so I can go back to being blissfully ignorant. Grandpa? Quit calling me that! That's no way to talk, sir. We're gonna have to work together to defeat Ozzy and LeChuck. LeChuck's involved, too? Actually, he's the new governor of Melee Island. Get jokes! Where's my granddaughter? She disappeared right after the election. Phew, that's a relief. Why? Because of the one secret I didn't reveal to Ozzy before he tried to kill me. The real secret of Monkey Island? Of course not. I'm talking about the secret of the fourth piece of the ultimate insult. The one that had to do with the governorship of Melee Island? I was wondering about that. What is it? It's this. That looks like the Melee Island gubernatorial seal. It is the official gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. One of them, anyway. A good governor always keeps a spare around in case the original gets lost. The seal is the key to unlocking the dread power of the ultimate insult. Without it, it's just a funky-looking maraca. Now, Guybrush, this is very important. Where is the other gubernatorial seal? I guess it's with Elaine. She rarely lets it out of her sight. Oh, that's good. As long as Ozzy and LeChuck don't find her, they'll never be able to make the ultimate insult work. Ah, good times, free grog, my pockmarked family. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Don't be looking at me, you mangy mongrel. I voted for Elaine, I did. Well, I certainly didn't vote for that bilge rat, LeChuck. Well, if none of us voted for him, then why is he the governor? And why are we being forced to build this colossal commemorative statue of him in the center of town? Ah, uh, shut up! This is horrible. LeChuck has enslaved my people. It's a good thing my grandfather isn't alive to see this. Why is he making them build that statue? What does that have to do with the ultimate insult? What's happened to Guybrush? What's that smell? Oh, ex-Governor Marley. You're a hard woman to find, you know that? Obviously, not hard enough. You must be Pegnose Pete. Hi. The governor and Mr. Mandrill have a few questions they'd like to ask you. Gee, you know, I'd like to, but I have to wash my hair for the next seven years. I really must insist. Drat. Like I said, as long as Ozzy and LeChuck don't find Elaine, the ultimate insult can never be completed. Maybe we should come up with a backup plan. Horatio? Yep. How does it feel to have your memory back? How does it feel 
Let's see. Before you hit me with that accordion, I was a carefree hermit on a tropical island. Now, I've got a dimwit for a grandson-in-law, a granddaughter who's imperiled by not one, but two beings of unspeakable evil, and the knowledge that every pirate in the Tri-Island area might be wiped out by a mistake I made over 20 years ago! How do you think I feel, Seepgood? Um, cautiously optimistic? How am I supposed to defeat the ultimate insult? You shouldn't have to. As long as my granddaughter keeps the gubernatorial symbol away from those goons. Well, let's just suppose that something goes wrong. How would I stop an ultimate insult talisman? Hmm, that's tricky. I suppose you could just build a bigger ultimate insult talisman. That might work. But... But what? If you wanted it to generate ultimate comebacks, you'd have to master the ancient tongue of the ultimate insult. How hard could that be? Pretty dang hard. It's really ancient. How ancient? It's monkey jabber. The language of the ultimate insult is monkey jabber? Yep. Pretty ancient, huh? Well, it's a good thing we're on Monkey Island, then. How am I supposed to get off this f***ing island? Splinky, I have no idea. Right now, I'd trade all the gold in my mind to bring back my creaky old ship. See you later, Governor. Not if I see you first.